Well, hello and good afternoon. Here are my ladies, two weeks in, so 14 days after the Rams. And here's Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Good girl, obviously, being served by the tap. Come this way, sweetheart. So, as you can see, there's a lot of orange rattle marks. We've just been through and we've counted them and there was 121 rattle marks out of 165. What I wanted to have after two weeks was 110. So we're a bit ahead of schedule. It's about 55 lambing each week, if all goes to plan. So now what we've done, oh, and I've got a green mark already, is I changed my rattle color after 14 days because that's how often sheep ovulate every 14 days. So if they didn't get pregnant, um, then 14 days later, they should release another egg. So it's another chance to get pregnant. So I suspect that one there hadn't ovulated at all and only triggered her ovulation when the rams went in two weeks ago. So we've got Zorro there with his blue eye. He's doing very well. I call him Zorro. Um, I think that one's Poseidon, is it Ernie? So Poseidon. His eyes healing beautifully, and I think he's going to actually get his sight back in it, which is marvellous. But the rams are now got green, so I don't know if you can see on their chests yet. But we've definitely got one green rattle mark. Where's that? Oh, here. So let's see if you can see. Oh, he's sniffing bear. That's good. She hasn't been mated with yet. She's friends with um, Dolly. They're a similar age, so she's 12 or so. Keep trying, mate. So he's sniffing. And yeah, she's definitely ovulating because they don't mate with them unless they are ovulating. So that's great news. Then, come on, mate. Do the job properly. <laughs> but you can see the green rattle paint now. I've put on his chest but he hasn't actually mated with her successfully yet but he will he will I'm sure so he's doing a typical pre-mating behavior which is a few licks to the side a few belly kicks he's like oh where's she gone there I mean, Bear is an experienced you. Like I said, I got her the same time I got Dolly. So she'd be about 12 years old. She's got about three teeth in her head. She's a good you. She yeah. usually has twins, although she has had the odd single, but she, yeah, she's a good mum. And to reach that age and still be doing really well, I've never had to treat her for anything. Come on. Oh, and there's a ram, another ram right there next to her. Maybe she prefers the older gentleman. That one's an old one there. Turn around and sniff bear. No. But you can just see them sniffing the air, can't you? So that's how they detect if they're ovulating. Oh, look at that. Bear's gone right to his face now to say, oi, what about me? But he's ignoring her, which probably means that she's not quite ready to be served yet. She's probably just coming in and that young boy was a bit keen. But the experienced ones, they wouldn't waste their time unless it was just right. <clears throat> but what will happen, usually with the old ewes like Bear just here, is she'll just follow the rams around now <coughs> till it's the right time for her to be mated with. So we're going to put these back in the field and from now on we'll be counting the green rattle marks and we'll be looking out to see are there any ones that have had orange that are then returning to service which means they didn't successfully get pregnant the first time. So like I said that one over there she didn't have an orange mark she's been mated with today day 14 um, so I'd say she you know she wasn't ovulating until today for the first time. <laughs> 